Hey everyone, so I'm going to go over how to make a graph of your data. So yesterday you did the paper airplane lab, you threw the three types of wings, um, and you recorded the data. Today we're going to make a graph of that data. Um, and honestly, this is pretty much just to show you how you can use Google Sheets to make a graph. Um, if you already know how to do it, wonderful. Um, but still watch because I'm going to show you how to um, change the axis titles, which you may or may not know how to do. So um, first up, we want to set up our cells so that they look um, similar to the table that you filled out. So sometimes people want to start over here, but remember, we want to have a label over here for average because we took the average amount of... Um, whatever, if you used feet, footsteps, whatever. Um, so we can say average distance, that's fine. Um, and then we wanna put our labels up here. So we had our rectangular wings. We also had our triangular wings and we had our hexagonal wings. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna populate your data that you collected on uh, well, yesterday. So you only need to put the average in, you don't need to put in all of the other individual trials. So let's say you got the average distance for rectangular was seven feet. The average distance for triangular was 11 feet and the average distance for hexagonal was 13 feet, okay? What you're gonna do is you're going to highlight all of those cells and then you're gonna hit insert, chart, and it should populate with a chart right here, perfect. Um, so we can kind of move it slightly out of the way, it really doesn't matter, um, we can just leave it here. Actually, we're gonna leave it here for now. Um, so we need to, and if you look, it's kind of set up perfectly with what our data was. So we're gonna look at this chart editor piece on the right that's gonna give us um, the information on how to change the title, the um, units, and the axis um, labels. So we're gonna start here with the setup's great, lovely, okay. Um, we do want a column chart. We don't need to worry about all of that other stuff. Um, we do want to go to customize and we want to put chart and axis titles. So we do want a vertical axis title, meaning it goes right across the top, but this is kind of a bizarre um, title for our chart, rectangular wings, triangular wings, and hexagonal wings. So we can probably come up with a better um, title for that. So we may want to do, um, paper airplane flight distance. That could be a uh, possible title. Oh, sorry. This is for vertical axis. I'm oh, sorry. I want chart title. Sorry. Go back to chart title. And instead of rectangular wings, triangular wings, and <clears throat> hexagonal wings, we want to put something like paper airplane flight distance. That way across the top, it's actually showing us um, a, a title that kind of describes what we're looking at. So paper airplane flight distance. Um, and we can kind of change it to be in the center. You know, you could change it to being, um, you know, dark, uh, like a very clear, bold font, whatever you want, go for it. Um, but we want to kind of come up with a chart title that is more descriptive of um, what it is that, uh, representing the data that we're looking at. So now we want to go to vertical axis title and we want to come up with, and I already kind of typed this in from before, um, we want to come up with what do these numbers represent? Okay, so this is the y-axis. What is the y-axis representing? And it is representing the distance, oops, distance in, and then it depends on if you use feet, footsteps, whatever it is. Um, we can say distance parentheses in feet. OK, 
Okay, and there we go. It should already kind of centralize it. Good, it did. All right, done. Now we want to do over here the drop down horizontal axis title. So this is going to describe what the um, x axis is. And right now it says average distance, but that's not really describing average distance. The, these bars are really kind of representing the type of wing or we could say wing type or wing shape even. Wing shape, ta-da, okay. So there we go. Pretty much that is what we need to do in order to make our chart have the proper name, proper um, labels for our x-axis and our y-axis. Um, and it already makes the bars for you. Um, so, Pretty much all you need to do for today is populate this sheet and make a graph, okay? So if you follow these instructions, that's all you need to do. Everyone should be a little bit different because you have different data and you can name it, you know, something related to our paper airplane flight and same thing with the x-axis and y-axis. Um, it should be something relating to the wing shape or the wing type and your, um, y-axis label should be something relating to the distance, whether it be in feet or um, footsteps. So if you have any questions on when you're making your graph, please reach out to me through a private comment. But other than that, have a lovely day.